Canada's leaders have a problem. Without evidence, they tell the Canadian public that Iran is seeking nuclear weapons. But then, Iran gets its chance to speak at international fora and calls for nuclear disarmament and for the peaceful resolution of conflicts such as the crisis in Syria, where the West is arming Al-Qaeda-affiliated insurgents. It is not surprising, therefore, that Canada is now boycotting UN initiatives in which Iran plays a prominent role, such as the Conference on Disarmament, which Canada's foreign minister announced this week Ottawa would be boycotting explicitly because it is Iran's turn to chair the conference. Analysts note that neoconservatives, such as those who rule Canada, don't like the UN because it is one of the few international venues where global South countries, such as Iran and Venezuela, get the right to respond to the propaganda disseminated against them by imperialist states. I, I'm going to say explicitly, Western imperialist governments only support the UN in and so far as it serves their own ends and interests. You know, they don't really love the UN as it's presently constituted. They have severe problems with it. I mean, if you look at many of the resolutions which have been anti-colonial, which have called for decolonization, which have called for support for Palestine, they don't agree with it in any way whatsoever, right? Critics say that the pro-Zionist group UN Watch is pushing the Harper government to disengage from the UN and embrace Western exceptionalism. So I would agree with this, that, that the UN perhaps has outlived its usefulness and perhaps we should have a new group, uh, uh, a, an alliance of democracies where we don't have to give the Hugo Chavez's and the Castro's a vote. We can just do business with like-minded democracies. Does it make sense to pull out of these rotten uh, Frankenstein monsters like the Human Rights Commission and move into uh, a place where everyone shares common values? Well, in theory, it sounds good. UN Watch is actually an arm of the American Jewish Committee and is a part of the world. It's, it's sponsored by the World Jewish uh, Congress. So, I mean, clearly, the reasons behind this are surely it's, it's, it's just Zionism. Zionists are calling for this boycott, and those that support Zionism are now supporting this boycott, namely the Harper government and the United States government. Critics contend that the Harper government may also be deploying straw man arguments against Iran to deflect attention from its own entanglements in the uranium industry, an industry which benefits from the construction of nuclear weapons, such as those possessed by Israel. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.